Hey guys and welcome to another video. My name is Alex from Tech Fusion and today I want to show you a direct comparison between the overhyped Mad Max plotter and the official Chia app on the Windows 10 and see exactly what performance you can gain using this third party app. I will present you how long it takes for my current setup using these uh, four SAS drives to complete one plot at a time between the two methods and see how big of a performance boost you can achieve using this third party method. I do mention that this uh, Mad Max plotter is not official and consider using it at your own risk, although given that you don't have to present your mnemonic key and since you can run it on a separate machine or a VM, there is little to no risk involved. Another thing to point out is the interest shown by the Chia official developers themselves to implement this code into the official app, so at the moment I would say things look quite promising for it. For the first part, I will show you how exactly you can configure and use this third-party plotter under Windows 10 for the least tech-savvy ones among us. And in the later part, I will go over the test and the test results themselves. So you can check the chapter breakdown down below to see exactly what you're interested in. So guys, the first thing you need to do is to uh, download Microsoft C++ or to check and see if you have already uh, installed it on your machine. Uh, one way to do this and what you actually need to do is to find the Windows PowerShell so you can go into your search bar over here and you type in PowerShell and once you type in PowerShell you should have it here as an app you can go right ahead and click run as administrator on it click yes and a tab will open uh, similar to this and that means that you are actually running it quite fine uh, if you don't have it, then you must go into, well, the official Microsoft download page for the C++. So to do this, you go into your, um, uh, your browser and you go over to Microsoft and you find the latest Visual C++ version that they have available. Uh, just make sure to download the correct one for your Windows architecture that you're using. So for instance, in order to check this, you must go into settings. And if you go here into system and about, You'll find the system type, so I'm running the 64-bit operating system. So that means that I have to download the 64 executable. If you're running the 86, of course, download the 86. Once this is done, you have to go over and download the Chia Mad Max plotter from the GitHub uh, page. So I'll leave the link in the video description so you can find it uh, quite easily. Um, so this is the link here for GitHub. You will find the, the releases from uh, this guy here, Stotkiz. Um, he is running at the moment uh, Windows version 0.04 or actually there is an, already an update here 0.04.1 Just keep, uh, keep sure to keep an eye out for any updates because they're releasing uh, updates quite frequently And also um, I should mention that the updates that they release for Windows might be one version behind what they're, they're running on Ubuntu and uh, on Linux So just make sure to actually all the time check to update your current version of the Chia Plotter as they constantly bring updates and improvements to, uh, to the source code. So once you have downloaded the Chia Mad Max and you have taken care of your Windows PowerShell and you can uh, run it, then uh, you can go ahead and uh, open up a window in Windows PowerShell. To do this again, you click power on the search bar, you type in power I should say and uh, right click run as administrator, click yes. And there is one command that you must use uh, before uh, uh, continuing. So this command is exactly as you see it here. You can just go ahead and copy without the commas and paste it into your Windows PowerShell. Click enter. And once this uh, dialog box pops up here, you can just click uh, A and hit enter as to confirm that you want the yes to all to execute the changes in policy. Once you have done this, you have to open up a command tab. In order to open up a command tab, you must go into your um, search bar once again here and you can type in a command, just the CMD and you should see the command prompt app here. And again, you can run it as an administrator, click yes. Uh, this will be used to actually obtain your uh, farmer's key and your public key. So um, what you must run as a command is the actual location for the official Chia app. So not the Mad Max one, but the official one. In order to find the correct directory for it, you can just, uh, well, one easy way is to go over your icon here and just uh, open up the file location. And once you're in the file location, if you follow through the exact path over here, you can see that you can uh, start going through your uh, file location. So you, can, you should continue going into your app, your resources, here, daemon, yes. And once you've landed here, uh, and you can see the Chia executable, you can just go on ahead and copy the whole path go back to your command prompt here or I should say this one go back to your command prompt paste it right here 
just don't hit enter just yet as you must continue and as well writing down the Chia executable and as well you must write the keys show as for it to show you your keys so once you write keys show hit enter and there you go you will now have access to your farmer key your public key your master public key and if you have uh, more than one fingerprint that is because you have more than one account with the chia app so in my case here if i go ahead and open the chia app you will see that i have uh, two private public keys with two um, unique fingerprints that's why when i open up the command prompt i have here two fingerprints which are unique each of them with their own uh, public and farmers farmers key if you have just one then you will not see the second one you'll only see the one that you're using so keep that in mind when you're um, continuing with this tutorial uh, you can just go ahead and uh, leave it open as you will have to have access to them uh, later on now we'll go over and open up the uh, administrator with the PowerShell so we would we would like to run the script uh, once you've done this you have to find the correct path for the Mad Max plotter so you go to your downloads page or whatever you downloaded your Mad Max plotter in my case uh, this is the uh, the correct one that I want to use this is the latest one anyway so I will just uh, leave these commands here for you to access them. Just make sure to change them accordingly to, to meet your, um, your path to your uh, downloader. So I'll just copy paste this here. I want to change the directory from C Windows System 32 to the Chia Plotter itself. So I'll hit enter. And once I hit enter, you would see that now I've changed the path from Windows System 32 and I've um, well assigned a Windows PowerShell to look under the Chia Plotter. Now we can go ahead and assign um, the Chia Plotting value so we can start the process. So one way to start the process is not daunting at, well, as well, uh, at all. You can just go ahead and uh, copy this whole thing. Uh, just make sure to change any values before to meet your criteria. So for instance, uh, in order to run the script you have to start out with the dot slash chia plot and then this minus n here i will leave as well in the video description a um, a short info uh, that the um, developers left so as to see what all of these commands mean so i started off with uh, minus n which means the uh, number of plots that i want to create now i just want to create four plots uh, and depending on the number you set you can create from an infinite amount of plots where the machines will just keep running 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 until you run out of space or you can just assign it a number of finite uh, plots that you want to stop uh, after you've created a certain amount so as you can see minus n4 so this means that I want to make four plots I will continue and the next command is uh, minus t and this is the first temporary drive that I want to assign and then is the second drive that I want to assign. For instance, in my case here, I only have one logical array, which consists of the four SAS drives running array zero configuration. So I want to use this as both temporary one and temporary two. So that's why I am going to have it here as uh, temporary one and as temporary two. If you have, I don't know, if you want to use an NVMe for your temporary one or and another drive for your temporary two, then you can go ahead and assign it the right uh, letter so it uh, knows exactly what to do. Um, next, it is the destination of the drive that you want to offload all the plotting to. So this is your final drive. Uh, for instance, uh, my drive, it's an external unit that is connected to the computer. So it's this drive here is letter E. So that's why I have minus D with the letter E. And the next thing you want to go over is your public key. So this is the key that you can find from the command prompt that you've opened up earlier. So you can see here you have a farmer public key and a pool public key. So you can go on ahead and take the pool public key and copy it right over here. And you can continue with, uh, I mean, you should continue with the selecting of the uh, farmer public key. And this is the one that you can find here. So farmer public key, you go on ahead and you copy all of this between the comas in this line um, after you've done this the latest uh, the last thing that I've done was to assign the number of threads that I want to use for the uh, script itself so this uh, slash R actually means the number of threads that I want to use the default is 4 is uh, the same as the Chia official plotter 
But I ran ahead, um, I went ahead and used the number of uh, the 24 number that I have available for me since I'm running the Ryzen 9 3900X. So this is the maximum amount of threads that I uh, have it, um, I have available to throw at it. I did actually test it with more than what I have available and I saw that the plotter uh, continued uh, normally. I'm not really sure how it works. Uh, but I've seen that it runs normally, although you have assigned more cores or threads, I should say, than my machine had available. So you can go on ahead and do your own uh, tests on this ones and see exactly where you land with. Right, so once you have this, you can just go on ahead and uh, copy it after you've modified it accordingly with your settings. And you go into your PowerShell and you just paste it into your PowerShell and hit enter and you're off to the races. I will first show you what the official Chia app is capable of when we allocated my max number of cores and threads, which is 24, and use the standard RAM settings and use my four SAS drives as a temporary storage for both temporary 1 and temporary 2 drives. My setup is running all four drives in RAID 0 and now I will leave you with a short preview of my test and get back to you afterwards. So guys, as you can see, the total time it took me to achieve one plot using the official Chia app and allowing it to use 24 threads was of 20,517 seconds, so that is roughly 5.7 hours for a single plot, which means that you can basically make as much as 4.2 plots for every hour using the official Chia app. So now let's use the Mad Max plotter with the exact same setup configuration and see how long it takes. I will again leave you guys with a short video preview for the plotting process and check back with you guys at the end. These results as you can see are shortly said amazing and we can see how I was able to cut down the plotting process by half and thus increase my plotting output to double the previous one per day. So it was able to complete one plot using 24 threads in 10,332 seconds, that is roughly 2.86 hours, thus in a 24 hour frame we can give it and uh, we can create 8.4 plots as to the 4.2 plots as before. Another huge advantage I would say that this method is offering you is that you can decrease the investment as you don't need to buy a whole bunch of drives to couple them in RAID 0 and uh, thus increase your performance. And uh, you can only use a single drive that should be at least 300 gigabytes in capacity since the process only outputs a single plot at a time. I will however test this in a later video and see if the performance on the script comes from the RAID configuration and RAID capacity of your hardware or indeed is based on solely the CPU amount that you can throw at it. These results as you can see are shortly said amazing and we can see how I was able to cut down the plotting process by half and thus increase my plotting output to double the previous one per day. So it was able to complete one plot using 24 threads in 10,332 seconds, that is roughly 2.86 hours, thus in a 24 hour frame we can give it and uh, we can create 8.4 plots as to the 4.2 plots as before. Another huge advantage that this method is offering is that you can decrease the investment as you don't need to buy a whole bunch of drives to couple them in RAID for the increased performance and you can only use a single drive that uh, should be at least 300 gigabytes in capacity since the process only outputs a single plot at a time. I will however test this in a later video and see if the performance of the script comes from the RAID capacity and RAIDing more hardware together or indeed is based solely on the CPU uh, amount that you can throw at it and see how it goes. I hope you found this information relevant for your case and uh, gave you a clearer picture about what performance boost you can expect while using this third party script. And if you liked the video I do hope you consider subscribing and giving us a like. Don't forget to leave your comments and thoughts down below as we would all like to see them and work together and see exactly what is the best way and most optimized way of farming Chia. Thank you guys and see you in the next one.